I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the tube brush, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up so we can keep helping you find the right gear. Let's dive in. So this toothbrush looks fairly simple, but it does have a pretty cool feature that makes it really great for travel. So kind of going the basic toothbrush description here. Uh, this, this case here is a little bit of like a plastic. Um, so it's, it's fairly durable. I mean, you can see like how thick that is. So I really felt like I could just kind of toss this thing around and be fine, which was nice. Um, but this part here is the lid. It's kind of split into two sections. This lid here with a hole for ventilation um, and then the actual toothbrush itself. So the toothbrush itself is pretty basic. You know, it's like something you would get from your dentist. It's not really anything fancy in terms of the bristles or you know, shape or electric or anything. It's just a manual toothbrush. So there, the head here attaches right at this little like plastic lip that connects to this bottom handle. And it has a little bit of a gap. You can kind of see it um, here. Yeah, there you can see it a little bit better. And that gap there kind of makes it look like the toothbrush head comes off. Um, but from my experience, it doesn't. I mean, it's locked in there pretty tight. So I wouldn't try and take it off just because then, you know, who knows if you'll be able to get it back in. Uh, and I didn't really find a ton of buildup there like I was expecting, which was nice just because, you know, part of the issue with certain toothbrushes is that over time the buildup gets so bad that you just kind of want to stop using it even when the toothbrush isn't even done being used. So I find after about two weeks still in pretty good condition. I have a tendency to brush my teeth pretty aggressively and the bristles held up well. So I'll put that back on. There's a little bit of branding here. So the, the name here, Tube, and then you can see it through this center bit here. So this center bit is in the handle and this is kind of what makes this the most interesting. I'll move that over to the side. And this is actually toothpaste, uh, a toothpaste container built in. So this bottom bit, you can tell there's like this black cap and then a little bit of another cap and then the actual handle. And that second cap here is what you grab onto to pull out the toothpaste and then you open up the lid here, put your toothpaste on, close the lid, put it right back in, and then you're good. So it's kind of like a one and done, one stop shop in terms of tooth, uh, toothbrush and toothpaste combination, which is really great for travel because then you're not carrying along a larger tube or you know carrying something even smaller still is two separate containers, right? So this here is, I mean, it's not the smallest thing in the entire world, but it's fairly low profile and it stands up straight as well. Not here, because not in that specific location, but right here it does. So I was able to put this on my counter and leave it standing up even with this cap off here, which was really great because, you know, if you have a, if you have other toothbrush, even my other toothbrush containers for just like a generic toothbrush, they're always like rounded on the bottom, which I never really understand because then you can't stand it up like this. And then you're either like leaving your toothbrush on the counter or you're putting it back in the container before it's dry. And then it's just getting a little bit like I don't want to say musty, but a little bit musty. And then uh, you have to lay it down on the counter anyway. So this was nice because it just stayed off in one area and then I just grab it when I need it. So the one trick to this is actually putting the toothpaste in. So taking this out, actually let me put that cap back on. You have this container here. And so what you're going to do, it actually has directions for you. So it's like remove the caps on either end refill it and then smile. They're missing a couple steps in between, so I'll show you how to do it. And so for this, you want to remove this cap to better fill. If you leave that cap on when you're trying to fill your toothpaste, then it's going to um, create kind of like a vacuum tunnel and it won't really fill up very well. So this black cap here just screws off. You can see it has like this screw side on either side. 
So what you end up doing is you take your toothpaste, you can tell where I did this last, and then you straight up just push it in. So the one thing I'll note about this is that if you go too quick, which I did the first time, you're gonna sh like shoot toothpaste out the top. So put like steady, even pressure, and then you'll see it kind of start to pop out of the top here. And then that's when you'll know you can stop. And you can feel it fill up as well. It just starts to get a little bit stiffer. And then you put this back on. Oh, see, pushes in a little. And then I have a paper towel here to wipe that. And then you're good to go. So this is refilled here. And then it slots right back in and you're good to go. So a couple of things to note about this. First of which is that this size tube here lasted me two weeks and I still had a little bit left in there at the end. So it depends on how much you use. I can kind of show you the amount that I was using on a regular basis. Um, my go-to is kind of like that, maybe a little bit more. And so it's not like I was using a ton of it. So you do go through it fairly quickly just because it is, I mean, it's like palm size for me specifically. So that's just something to keep in mind that if you are gonna be traveling for a longer amount of time, you might still need to get a tube of toothpaste in order to refill this. But if you are pretty sparing with it, you know, if you use like only that much, which is honestly really all you need, then something like that will last you a little bit longer. So it's really just based off of your habits as well, how long this toothpaste in here is gonna last. But the fill-up process is super easy. So you can even get one of those really travel size ones at like a convenience store when you're on the go, refill it and then just toss the other one out or you know stick it in your bag or kind of however you wanna do it. But this is really convenient because it's always there with you, right? So there were a couple things where I took this with me um, you know, I had a couple weddings to attend and I was in the wedding, so I wanted to brush my teeth one last time before going out and, you know, going for the actual ceremony and things like that. So I was able to just bring this toothbrush with me and I had it on hand without needing anything else. So just, I was able to just stick it in my bag and I didn't have to like remember to bring this or borrow some from somebody else or anything like that. So. Overall, super convenient. I really uh, enjoyed using it. I mean, if you're not super picky about the bristles and things like that on your toothbrush, it's a great travel toothbrush to have. So there you have it, the tube brush. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next video.